everybody, I'm Carrie, and today on My Table 3, I'm going to show you one of my stuffed mushroom recipes. This recipe is low carb, gluten free, and Trim Healthy Mama S. I've had one of the viewers request it, so I'm going to post the link to the full recipe below. And we're going to get started now, and I'm going to show you how they're made. Okay, guys, we're going to start with 8 ounces of softened cream cheese, and you want it to be soft enough that when you push on it, it indents. I just set mine out for room, in, room temperature in the morning. And by dinner time, it's ready to go. All right, so that's eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Then I am going to do um, a half a cup of chopped bacon. And what I do is I just cook extra for breakfast and I reserve um, some of it and I chop it. So just a half a cup of bacon. If you don't want to cook the bacon or you need something really fast, you can grab a package of those um, real bacon bits at the store if you don't have any um, you know, if you don't, if you're not opposed to those, you can grab those. I've done that before too, and it tastes just as good. The next thing we're going to add is some of this Parmesan cheese. This is the shredded cheese. Um, you can use the grated in the green can if you'd like to. I've done that um, before also. In this bowl of cheese, it's a half a cup of the shredded uh, parm. And don't worry, I'm going to put the full recipe below. A fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And so we just dump that in. <clears throat> and we're just gonna mix it together real good so everything gets distributed. And if your cream cheese is soft enough, this will not take very long. Now, this may need a pinch of salt and pepper, which I probably will add. If you use the Parmesan in the green can, taste it before you add more salt. You may also want to add some parsley, and if you taste it and it's still a little bit bland to you, you can add more onion powder and garlic powder. And that's just about it, guys, for the feeling. I'll show it to you. Wait a minute. My big guy, my little son, my big Nate, he is helping me film this today, so you guys give me a thumbs up so he's learning to be mom's videographer. Okay, and that's it, guys. Just cream cheese, a half a cup of chopped bacon, a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and that, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Also, you can put in uh, two tablespoons of chopped chives, which I am out at the moment, so I didn't do that, which if you don't have any, leave them out. It's still delicious. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and show you these mushrooms. Now, this is enough filling that will do two packages and they come in these plastic containers of the baby uh, portobellas or the white. What you do is just remove the stems and you can see I've just popped the stems out and I've kept the stems in a bowl and I will put them in the freezer with other things and you can use those for vegetable stock. After you um, pop the stems out just take a damp cloth, not wet, never rinse your mushrooms under water because they will soak up water like a like a sponge. So you just wipe them off with a damp cloth and then put them in there. And now I'm going to show you how to fill these things. Okay guys, what I have here is one of my Pamper Chef uh, stoneware bacon little round dishes. I've started filling the mushrooms and so I'm just going to show you how I do that. You take one of the cleaned mushroom caps and you're going to fill the cavity. You want to make sure that when you put the filling in there, it's really topped off. You see? And then you just place it back in the pan and move on to the next one. Uh, as I said earlier, and you'll see in the recipe, this amount of filling that I made would probably be enough for two packages of these stuffed mushrooms. But I only have one, so I'm actually going to save this mixture and I will eat it on um, some celery sticks for my lunch tomorrow because I have to go to work. And so I thought that would be good. Protein, be yummy, and a trim healthy mama ass. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to keep... And this is going to be so good, guys, from the Parmesan cheese and the bacon and onion and garlic powder. It's so good. But don't be stingy. You don't want to have to, you know, with the filling. Because you want them, these mushrooms will cook down. And that filling is what's going to give everything such a wonderful flavor. And these are so easy. These can be made ahead of time in your fridge like the night before if you're having a party. Or the morning before. Just put them in your... A baking dish like this, wrap it tight and put it in the refrigerator and let it set. And they'll be good to go. Take them out of the oven about 10 minutes before you're going to bake them. And um, then preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which is what we're going to do. Mine's already preheating now. 
So it's preheated to 350 degrees and you're gonna place, after we get through filling these, like I got one more to go, you're gonna place them in that preheated oven and you're gonna bake them roughly, probably about 25 to 30 minutes. You want the mushrooms to be um, well cooked or we like them well cooked. If you like them a little bit more al dente, you can absolutely um, cook them for less. But I would start out with at least 18 minutes or 20 minutes and then check them after that but like I usually cook mine probably closer to 30 minutes so now we have all of them filled you can see that they're really nicely filled this is another two tablespoons of parmesan shredded parmesan again you could use the grated parmesan if you want and I'm just going to sprinkle that on the top of each one more cheese how can you go wrong right <laughs> I don't know if I've said it but these are low carb gluten free and they are good for Trim Healthy Mama S. Um, my recipe, I believe, has the nutritional facts. If it doesn't, I'll go back and try to find it, but they fit well into your S. They will not fit into the E category if you follow Trim Healthy Mama because they are not low fat. So there we have it. I've got those finished. I'm gonna put those in a, uh, my oven and bake those, and then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like when they're done. Okay, guys, here are the mushrooms. I, like I said, I cooked these about 30 minutes, but you can start looking at about 18 to 20 minutes and see if the mushrooms are done. We like them a little bit softer, so I do them 30 minutes at 350. You can see the cheese browned up really nicely. Um, if you need to get them a little bit browner, if you cook them, say, the last 18, 20 minutes, you can uh, turn the broiler on for a few minutes and just watch them carefully. I'm going to see if I can get a couple of these out. This is kind of hot, so... I'm going to see if I can get them out and plate them up. They're super delicious, you guys. Super, super delicious. We love these. Now, uh, my son does not like these, so... He would say, no, I don't like those. <laughs> but there you have it. So there are my bacon and Parmesan stuffed mushrooms. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, cooking these mushrooms. Give me a thumbs up if you like these recipe videos, and I will start sharing more of those. If you haven't subscribed, please do so for future videos where I talk about healthy eating, trim healthy mama style, with low carb gluten free recipes, and my weight loss journey. So thanks as always for stopping by, and I will see you later.